Welcome back to the channel guys. Today joins at Huddersfield Golf where I'm joined with golf professional Scott McGovern. Where we've brought the track man out on the course now, haven't we? Yeah, well it was in my boot yeah. and I said let's have a crack with it on the golf course. We're gonna have a little bit of a free old playing vlog, but also we're gonna be having a look at our carry distance. As you know guys, I bought the irons not so long back, the, the Mizuno irons. I've been struggling with how far they're actually going. I think the big thing as well is sometimes people hit the, I know I swing faster on the driving range. Yeah. And I take those numbers onto the golf course. So it's quite interesting for me. It's been a long time. I can't even remember the last time I've had Trapman on the golf course. It, well, so you suggested it and because you said to me, sometimes off a range, Matt, you know, you're on a perfect line. And you're right. Sometimes you can get really aggressive and confident. But actually on a course, yeah. you don't always swing like that with your irons, do you? No. It'd be quite interesting to see how the numbers compare. Because I know what they are for me on the driving range and what they're on the golf course. So do you want the honour? Yeah. Just be careful where you're doing your practice swings, guys. I will. What's it worth? <sighs> More than you're worth. <laughs> <laughs> More than me as well. Tiger line. Hit well, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's good, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, it's a little bit tight on that line, but it should be long enough. So tee shots wise, Scott carried 248, which is, did you hit a two iron? Two iron there, yeah. Quite long, and I've hit a hybrid, I've hit it to about 237, weren't it? Something like that, I on think. On the carry, but not as much roll, obviously, as you got with the two iron. And we're working on carry distance now. We think that's the most important distance, don't we? Carry distance, I think, is the only thing you should be going on because, especially at the moment, it's like bouncing off a car park when you're hitting fairways. I think for you, sort of mid to handicappers, you've got to get used to knowing your carry distance then, and then working out how far it's going to roll depending on whether it's wet, exactly. hard, you know, and uphill, downhill. So, we've got 61 yards here. This is going to be majority of it carry, I imagine. Yeah. I'll try and carry it about 50 yards. So, I'm using swing length, shoulder to shoulder. What's it saying? Well, it was nipped clean. 56 yard carry. 56 yard carry, so that's not too bad. The track man's good, but it's not this good. There's a big drop behind Scott, yeah. so we can't, <laughs> we can't do anything about this one. But You can hover it in the air behind <laughs> if you want to. I don't know if that'd work. You've got about 40 yards. Scott's actually played that pretty well, and I'm just here. In terms of sort of like distance gapping, do you do much of this on course, or do most of your clients do it on range? I do take the track man to the golf course sometimes because people's swing can change when there's pressure, when there's slopes, when yeah. they've got a scorecard in the hand. When you're on the driving range, it's easy just to think about what you're trying to do in your golf swing. Yeah. When you've got a scorecard there, it's, it's very different. So get in the comments, guys. Is this something you've done? Were your pro? Have you been on the golf course to check your distance? It's, I'm going to be honest. I'm putting my hands up, Scott. This is the first time I've ever done it. It's been a long time since I've done it, in all fairness, because it can be a little bit finicky. You yeah. do need a little bit of time, but... Just I have done distance. Distance. I forgot to take my trackman out of the boot after work today. <laughs> I've done distance gapping inside, but uh, never outside on course. It's going to be quite interesting. Stop. Stop! Ooh, that's a bit too much. It's a birdie then. Ooh, okay. Yeah, good pop. Just good pop. 
Cheers. So we've just skipped an all. We played a par three, didn't we? Downhill. Both hit eight iron. Yep. What surprised me is how far that's carried downhill. Obviously, one, I think I got 167 and you were... I hit you through the back. Yes, 174, <laughs> weren't yeah. you? With an eight iron. It's a little bit downhill, but that's not a distance. I would have imagined that I carried my own eight iron. I followed you off the tee with because you hit an eight. But I mean, with my old set, I'd probably been hitting a seven. I think, I mean, I'm on that all day. Like, I don't yeah. hit balls in it, but I see it every, if I do have five minutes, hit golf balls. I've got a trap at the side of me, so I'm always getting that feedback. That's why these stuff are so valuable. Well, I think now lessons. it means that I can just commit to a shot more. You yeah. know, when I get out on a course at 180, I'm not questioning whether I can actually get there. I know now yeah. that, you know, 167 is going to land and a bit of rollout. So we've both got four iron. We yeah. might not be able to see because at the sun, there's a little tree there. We've had to angle it out at some camera. But I'm, I've no idea how far this is going to carry. The total distance we have four would have been about 210 with my old irons. Should we guess? Well, if, we guess? if it's 167 for an eight iron, I mean, I just don't know where to start. Two, 227. 230, yeah. 227. You've obviously been on track man a lot more than me. <laughs> Lovely strike. Well, that's a good strike. Mate, I hit the golf ball so much better on your camera. We played <laughs> nine holes before this, and I've hit one middle club. What's that gone? What's that's it? gone 217 carry, 239 oh. rollout. Club numbers were better, though, for me. I think you're right, though, in what you're saying is I'm not getting over here, and I know I'm not going to put a swing on it like I would on a driving range, yeah. because I'm sort of a bit more target golf, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a bit more realistic. So 95 mile an hour club head speed, 217. Just pumping that out there, guys. 97 mile an hour there. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm happy good, with that. Good shape for the hole. That's the perfect shape. That's going to have got more roll than yours, I think. 190 carry. One, 190 carry is that all? 190 carry. 94 mile an hour, so one mile an hour more club head. Yeah. But I don't think I hit that pretty good, to be fair. Yeah, two, two, two. So you're actually getting more roll than me then, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, what, 217, two, what did I, 217, 230? You've got 30 yards of roll there. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. That's surprised. So 190 carry. I need to bottle that up and remember that. Ball striking, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an interesting one because I've got 167 yards to pin and on that par three, my carry distance was 167 yards. So I'm going to stick with the eight iron because it is a slightly uphill on the par three with downhill. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> this is total distance 167. Obviously, I don't want it to carry all that way. But I don't think it will because it's uphill. But at least I can commit a bit more to this shot. Straight at it. Oh, it is straight at it. Oh, if it is, go in. I'll tell you what. I, I couldn't. Have, I wouldn't have hit an eight iron, you know, from here before. I think you've had a firm bounce there. But it ca it did carry pretty much pin high, didn't it? I'm not sure, but I heard it bounce. Yeah, like, it, I, I heard the big it's bounce. It's on green. I can see. I can see it past pin. Good job, mate. Well, so you said yeah. it's carried. One fifty five. One fifty six. One fifty six. Well, it's had a firm bounce, hasn't it? Must have. Yeah. yeah. So Scott's got 156 and you've got nine, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, it's just that everything's so tough at the moment with it being bouncy. Yeah. I'm going to try and open the face and... Even if you land it on the green here, it's, you know, no matter how good you strike, it's going to bounce forward a bit. Yeah, I mean, one thing about this golf course, though, is that we can't do this regular. Because it slopes. Because the slopes. The slopes are just insane. <laughs> it's a good job it self-balances that track, man. It's an arrow. That could be close. 
You're made to be on camera. <laughs> I, I haven't hit one good golf shot in the last two hours we've been playing golf. Great shot. Let's have a look what it's saying. It says 155 carry, 164 total distance. So um, what we'll find sometimes, yeah. if it goes out of view, yeah. it has to guess right. some of the distances. So yeah. for instance, if it was on my laptop, so the distance number in there would be like italic writing. It'd say like, we've tracked 80% of the flight, but we've lost it. Right. So then it can sort of calculate what it would have done. Yeah. It doesn't know what conditions we're playing in. If it saw the ball all the way, yeah. it would like track it. Even the rolling would be tracked. But 155 carry with that swing you put on it, how do you feel? Do you feel that's what you're aiming for? Well, I know that, well, this is 155. Do you? Yeah. You've yeah, so it, a lot more work it does feed me. into that. I kind of use it a lot, so I really do know. As long as I can get it going straight. Yeah. And this year, I've been like I've been talking to you. I've been really yeah. struggling finding the hosel of the golf club. But that's where I want my game to be. I want to be confident in what club I'm hitting, and I'm not yeah. at minute. Stop changing your golf clubs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good level of golf tonight. Uh, only since the cameras come on, unfortunately. It, well, it is a match. It is a match. Although we have been working on distances. It could get a little bit spicy on next door. I mean, well, it, it could get spicy on here if I hold this. Not that I play this hole this good every time. I don't usually like it, but this golf hole. It here, is spectacular, isn't it? I'm going to pan round. Yeah, and... it, I mean, sometimes the camera doesn't do it justice how no. good it is. It's my favourite hole in Yorkshire because well, you can we just play to... it so many different ways. Yeah. You can hit a four iron off the tee and try and shape it around the hole. You can try and smash driver, but obviously it's like a risk reward hole. You can hit driver down here, but you really have to be. I'm going to be honest with you, and it might not surprise you guys who watch my channel, but I've never hit anything more than an iron off. I've hit, when I've gone through good spells with driver, which is short and fleeting, yeah. <laughs> I have hit driver down here a couple of times. Die, die, die. It's not coming at all. Go on, it's friendly tonight, guys. Pick Pardon? that baby up. All right. Hey, got it, he's got it. I think well three played. good goals in a row. Well so happy. <laughs> Can we call it done? Can't complain <laughs> with that. Can't complain. We need a birdie, I think, on this last. Oh. So although I wanted to play off at front tees, actually, I think if I'm going to have a chance of getting back in this match, probably back tees. Yeah, I think there's more chance of a bogey than there's a birdie. There's more chance for a bogey, <laughs> isn't there? It's 197 actual distance. I've got five. Like These are two great golf holes. Like, this is a great hole. The green yeah. is just absolutely tiny. And over this massive ravine. You've got, got six, six, haven't you? But I might change my mind once I see how far yours carries, actually. This is my, like, Hulk club. Like, yeah. I do all my practice with my six irons, so this is like, I always seem to just be able to eke out more and more distance with this club. Yeah. I just don't see a seven iron. No, definitely not seven. I'm in between six and five, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Because obviously you've got to count for the bounce, haven't you? I'm not trying to land it. I don't think the there's any bounce nine, here, seven. though. Is there any bounce, do you think? Uh, I think if you landed it 20 yards short, yeah. I think it's firm enough okay. today. Let's go. There she is. Oh, it's not the best. It needs to grab. Okay. Oh, it's grabbed. It has grabbed. It stopped on banking. Wow. So it's 197 to the pin. I'm thinking my carry distance needs to be needs to be 180 to 190. So I've got five iron. Okay. I'll not tell you how far you carried that. Solid 174. <laughs> but that's another one. That's what I've been struggling with this year. Like the numbers are good, but I'm just catching like thin hosel. Yeah. I haven't had any full blown shanks today. There's your chance, Gaz. I know. It's one of them, though. I always get drawn into this high side because it's the safe side, isn't it? But then if you're going to go for green, you've just got to aim for it. Oh, he's... oh stay on that line. Oh, 
bunker. Is it bunker? What did it carry? Bunker. I thought we're at the green. 184. Yeah, so we're in shy. my landing area, but just not the right line. Yeah. If I'd have been left of that bunker, I'd have been on green. So we haven't flattered you there. We've got one in bunker. Scott's down here on banking. Might just be able to get him and uh, flag in shot here. He's got a tough one. Nothing to work with. I think if he gets it on green, he'll be happy. Let's hope I put. Oh, he's gone tight. He's, he's oh. not bad. It's not bad. You'd be happy with that. Yeah. There's not much to work with at all here. Dump it. Soft hands. Go. Oh. Not bad, mate. I've got a putt. Right, Scott, this is to uh, Been. break my heart. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you got it. It's finished behind the hole. Wow. Well, this is for Arthur, this is to save my bacon. I'm going at Belfry this week. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I play at <laughs> Belfry. They're going to have all the um, British Masters grandstands up. It's going to take me back to training days where we did as PGA. Should be some interesting vlogs there for you guys. Mate. Well played. Cheers, Thanks for bringing Trackman. You might see me on the course a little bit more now. With G We've got GC Quad here, but I've, I've really enjoyed that actually. As a piece of equipment, the GC Quad is better for doing stuff like this because you can just pop it to the side. Yeah. You don't have to aim it. I'm definitely going to bring that out when we're doing the vlogs, guys. I'm not going to be talking about this every time we do the vlogging, but for me personally, I'm getting quite a lot, a lot out of that and it's making me a lot more confident and making me think a bit more about landing areas. Uh, which maybe I don't do. Maybe I think a bit more about total distance on golf course, which... I think it's different. I mean, I, I zap the pin at 150 and sometimes I get into the habit of thinking, yes, I'm going to land at 150. Yeah. Rather than, especially this time of year, it's bouncy, it's hard. We haven't had rain in weeks. Yeah. So we do need to start thinking a lot more about bounce and roll and, and all that other stuff will come along with trying to get close to the pin. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope it's got you thinking about your distance. Maybe having a session with your pro, maybe on the range or even on the course like us. Um, another loss on the channel. But a loss to someone who did you did you, oh no you shot level didn't you? Well, and I've shot one over. Yeah. Yeah. So not well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Level. We're gonna finish playing though, aren't we? Yeah. So guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. Next week we're gonna be at the Bell Fred shooting some videos. I think I'll be playing James. James is gonna be down there. Um, so interesting. Are you on the course then down there? Are you getting on the course? Yeah, the getting on, getting on. I've I've only played it once. Have you? Uh, but we're gonna be getting out there before British Masters. So it should be in good condition. Awesome. Um, and who knows, some pros might be down there having a practice week before. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see you in a few days' time. Cheers, yeah. guys. Bye.